Hey everybody, I hope you're all having as great of a day as I am. And I wanna to talk to you all today about raising baby orphaned wildlife. It happens from time to time that the mother gets killed or she's not able to take care of the young. And then we hear the babies screaming and we take it upon ourselves to do something about it. Make sure you're doing the right thing. Um, most states, it is illegal for uh, a everyday citizen to uh, possess wildlife. So what I'm what I'm saying is that there are people who have been trained and certified in this, and um, you know, to raise wildlife, and uh, they do a great job of it. You know, there's a lot to it. Um, you can really put an animal, a baby animal, through the ringer and into a horrific death if you don't know what you're doing. Um, there's there's a lot to it, and, and I'm not a wildlife rehabber, but I know some, and there's a lot of training involved there to, to uh, raising a healthy baby animal. Once again, the animal's best chance for survival is with the mother, so let's not leave that out of the picture. Huh? If you separated that animal from its mother, you can reunite that animal with its mother. But if we've got an absent uh, mother animal, I guess we'll call it, um, you know, somebody has to take care of that animal or the animal, the baby animal has to be put down, you know, to end its suffering. So these people that are licensed rehabbers can be found. Um, check out your uh, uh, search engine and it will, uh, oh, here's what you dial in. Put in your state, uh, Wisconsin, and then I would put um, wildlife rehabilitator, or put Wisconsin licensed wildlife rehabilitator, because they're all on a, a, a website, and they're broken down by county, and they're broken down by which animal they prefer to work with. Some people don't want to work with baby skunks, and that's understandable. So let's not, uh, you know, lean on them too much. And these people are all uh, uh, working for for free. They're, they're doing this because they love it. And so make sure you tip them and all that stuff. Anyway, that is how you find them. And you just call them and you can hold an animal uh, for up to 48 hours in Wisconsin. But you need to be making steps towards getting that animal to the right place, either back to its mom or to a rehabilitator, a wildlife rehabilitator. I hope this helps. Stay with my channel. Keep, uh, uh, you know, passing it around and, and with your friends because, man, I get calls all the time. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm just here to help, all right? So spread this around, share, like, press the heart button, whatever you do, and we'll see you at the next one, huh?